All right, you guys, I just wanted to show you my battery bank, and the battery bank is all set up. Everything's hooked up now. I got the E-panel, uh, e the Midnight Silver E-panel hooked up with the Flex Max 80 and the 48 volt off-grid inverter. So I've got everything running in series, because uh, series, I needed series because I wanted it to uh, amp up the voltage, and these are eight six volt batteries and these are the trojan t105s with 225 amp hours so there's the other two so a total of eight to make 48 volts in series i am using let me show you here oops upside down i am using the two slash o welding cable you can make these yourself you can pick this up from home depot get you some lugs it's just a bunch of strands of uh of just the copper wire all right and these are the thicker this is the thicker stuff this is the good stuff uh, it's a little more expensive but i definitely am wanting to go with uh higher end stuff just so that it lasts longer and it's uh you know you get what you pay for all right, anyway, so here's the, uh, everything's in series. As you can see, it's positive and negative, positive and negative. Look up series parallel if you don't know. Uh, when series, it brings up the voltage. If you're going to go in parallel, it's going to bring up the amps. Okay, so I wanted the voltage to go up. Uh, if you don't know about series and parallel, just take a quick uh, Google it, and you'll figure it out. It's not that hard. Uh, just a little bit of Ohm's Law, and uh, you'll be on your way. Okay, you guys, so what else did I want to tell you? Oh, yeah, I want to tell you about the Tesla battery, too. Check out the power wall, the Tesla battery. Those are running about $3,000, but those are pretty sweet. Um, also, with the battery bank, uh, some people say that you need to have an exhaust and have an exhaust fan in here to blow out the air or to blow out the hydrogen gas. What uh, uh, It starts a chain reaction when these are being charged. You can actually hear it. It's in there bubbling. Chain reaction creates hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen will blow some stuff up, but I'm not too concerned about that because hydrogen is a very light gas. In fact, it's lighter than air. That's why you see like all the hydrogen, uh, uh, what are those uh, hydrogen ships, you know, like the uh, Goodyear blimp and stuff. They float so easy because they're lighter than air. So hydrogen pretty much just wants to get up into the air and disappear. It wants to go. So I have a vent here in my garage. I'm not going to worry about that. If I find that I might need to, I've got a lid here I can put that on, and I can just stick an exhaust fan and blow it out. Um, but uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, some people say you should, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, what else did I want to show you guys? I uh, showed you the cabling. So that's the weld welder's cable. And it's the 2 slash O. Oh, and then I wanted to show you this, the wiring coming out of the uh, Midnight Solar midnight solar E-Panel. Um, I have it in conduit coming out, going all the way across here where I'm going to hook up my transfer switch, which is all diagrammed out here. That's on the other side of that wall is where my circuit breakers are for the house. I'm going to put the E-panel right down here, or the, uh, not the E-panel, I'm sorry, the uh, transfer switch right here, the Reliance transfer switch. Then I'm going to be able to just push a button, pick whichever uh, switch I want to pull off and use. Say like there's an outage, I can switch it over, but mostly I'm going to use it for everyday use anyway. I'll just keep that switch on for like my refrigerator. I'm going to run it off a of solar, drop my power bill down. Uh, several other outlets like uh, what my kids use, uh, some lights and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, last thing, last little step is ordering the uh, Reliance um, transfer switch. And that'll do it, you guys. Until next time, see, I'll show you this again going up into here. Until next time, I'll show you the Reliance switch and the transfer switch, the Reliance transfer switch hooked up and show you how it's, uh, what it's hooked up to. But that's about it. Oh, I can show you this. Uh, what am I drawing right now? Right now in Arizona, it is raining and it's cloudy, but I'm still pulling 102 volts and I have 53 volts that can go out, which is a 48 volt system. So I'm five volts over. I'm not even getting an amp 
in and I'm maybe almost close to getting an amp out but right now it's in float mode and it's cloudy so anyway and plus I'm not running nothing off it anyway I'm just keeping the batteries charged right now until I get the Reliance switch all right you guys and uh, that's it I think I told you about the Tesla battery the uh, power wall and those run about three thousand dollars you should check that out it's the Tesla batteries the power wall but they're about three grand I'm gonna probably look into getting one uh, maybe hooking it to this and that and then have an even more energy backup system all right you guys until next time uh, leave me some comments or any suggestions thanks a lot for watching and I'll be showing you the reliance uh, transfer switch next thanks for your patience